trying something different with the camera today. I've got a stone that came out of the garden beds. It's a bit of a counterweight. I think I read online it might work. I cleared this, although it didn't need that much clearing. It must have had some grass around it or hay. And manured it yesterday. I transplanted it start of spring last year. There's one coming up there as well. You can see some yams here just in front of the small one. I think there's it's battery. There's some yams uh, growing underneath one of these but uh, I'd rather have the rhubarb than the yams. Not sure what this is. I think it's a, a wild one from a gold field in New Zealand. Can't remember where. Although the label was lost. Maybe the magpies have grabbed them. There are old bits of Coke can which tend to keep their stones here. Tend to keep their writing. And I can also engrave them. This one's sort of coming up with flowers. It's an Invicta. This has really sort of taken off in the last week or two. Sort of grass. There's a blueberry down there. Another one there. It's quite hard to see because of all the grass. I'm going to have to clear this. And there's two here. These are the two about three years old. About the same age as that. Some uh, Aronia something there, black chokeberry, another one there. There was a goji berry here somewhere, but it's disappeared. No idea where it is. It'd be a black currant. Biggest problem with the black currants is a, the borer thing that gets inside the stems. A whole, whole lot of different varieties here. That'd be a what, chili and guava? Mm. I think the, hopefully it'll spring back. It got covered up with grass as well. I cleared all these actually uh, in the autumn. These ones are actually red currant. And this is a boysenberry. I shouldn't turn it on the side, that's a bad idea. It's just sort of leafing up now, so I should be able to put a few more stakes up and there's a few runners I took last year, which I should be able to make a vine out of. There's more um, black currants here. It's really hard to see because of the grass growth. And then there's some misidentified gooseberries here. About two or three. Black currants got the larger leaves and uh, don't have the thorns. It's a of, this is a double grafted uh, Taylor's Gold Wondanellus with the extra grafts on it. And it seems to be a bit of a difference between them. There's uh, lighter coloured flowers on the lower section and I don't know if you can sort of tell, but there's a ridder flower at the top. I wonder if that's the Taylor's Gold grafted on top. There is a red mark on the base, sort of where it gets grafted on. Don't know. It's more sort of Variation in the second one there, the, the red seeded in the uh, broad bean land race. In theory, all those flowers, sorry, it's not red seeded, it's uh, red flowered. In theory, all those flowers should be red. And it's the same with this other one here. But I wonder whether it's just something that sort of gets lost easily in the cross pollination with other varieties. You order to mix those seeds up, and you can sort of tell there's more of a all these stones lying around. There's more of a pinkish hue 
and not those ones, those would be Janet or something. Battery. And those are the red flowered. So there is a difference and it does sort of look there wasn't a seed mix up. It's getting pretty thick here. There's actually about three hugel beds in there I need to clear. And it's a lot more difficult to clear those because there's big logs and only thin covering of soil that's sort of flattened on top. Flattened on top. Cherry hasn't started leafing up yet. I need to wait till it sort of does and then graft on the uh, cherry cuttings I've got. I think it's Stella cherry in the fridge.